Good morning, boys and girls. Today, we're going to be talking about reptiles. Yesterday, you might have talked with your parents about what kind of animals reptiles are. Reptiles are cold-blooded animals with scaly skin that usually lay eggs. Now, not all reptiles lay eggs. There are some that don't, but most of them do. Some reptiles are snakes, lizards, crocodiles. Um, there's this big, big reptile called the Komodo dragon, um, and those are really, really cool. Reptiles have dry, scaly skin, and all reptiles have dry, scaly skin. Um, one of my favorite reptiles is a crocodile. Crocodiles are really big and they're really neat animals. They've been on this earth for a really long time. They were around when dinosaurs were around, so they've survived when dinosaurs went extinct. They actually survived and they're still walking and roaming the earth today. The other thing we're going to be focusing on um, are a group of animals called amphibians. So amphibians are small vertebrates that need water or a moist environment to survive. Some animals that are in the amphibian group are frogs, toads, salamanders, and newts. And I have a very special video that I'll be showing you Thursday about with an activity with an amphibian. Um, get excited because we have a little special guest coming in, coming on to help us do an activity with that. Boys and girls, today we are going to be making a super fun activity with one of my favorite reptiles, a snake. Snakes come in all sizes and they come in all different colors and they have super, super scaly skin and they have no legs. So they kind of just slither around everywhere. So what you need for this activity is you need a shape of a snake, which you can just make on construction paper and cut it out, and two of your favorite shapes. Miss Jessie chose square and triangle, okay? And we are going to be making a pattern on our snake. So we're going to be just making a simple AB pattern today. If you want, you can make an ABC pattern. Remember, an AB pattern are two things, one after the other, but you're only working with two things. So for example, an AB pattern would be red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. In an ABC pattern, you're working with three things that are going in order, right? So red, blue, yellow, red, blue, yellow. So Miss Jessie chose two. So I'm going to do square, triangle, square, triangle. And I am going to put my shapes all around my snake until I get to the tail. And once, so boys and girls, I want you to take a minute to do that and make your pattern all the way down your snake. And then we're gonna sing a really fun song about um, slithering snakes after. So work really hard on your snake and then come back and we'll talk about it. Welcome back boys and girls. I really hope you had a lot of fun making your pattern on your snake. So Miss Jessie did square, triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle. I had so much fun making my snake pattern. I loved gluing the shapes all over the snake because you know what it reminded me of? Now remember, reptiles have hard, scaly skin. So putting the shapes on the snake, it kind of, when I felt it, after I put the shapes on, and after you put your shapes on your snake, I want you to run your finger all the way down your snake and feel all of the shapes that you put on. It kind of feels scaly and hard. So that's why I really loved doing this activity because it reminded me of a, what a real snake feels like. Okay, boys and girls, we're going to sing a really fun song now with our slippery snake, okay? Oh, I wish I was a silly, slippery snake. Oh, I wish I was a silly, slippery snake. Oh, I'd slither across the floor and slide underneath the door. Oh, I wish I was a silly, silly, slippery snake. Boys and girls, with that fun song, I want you to take your snake with a parent and make sure it's okay. I want you to take your snake and go slithering around the house. And I want you with a parent, I want you to find doors in your home, and I want you to see if your snake can slither under the door. So as you do it, I want you to sing the song. Oh, I wish I was a silly, slippery snake. Oh, I wish I was a silly, slippery snake. 
Oh, I'd slither across the floor and go underneath the door. Oh, I wish I was a silly, slippery snake. And I want you to see how many doors you can fit your snake under. Can you fit it under one? Can you fit it under two? Can you fit it under none? I don't know. You're going to have to try it. So Miss Jessie's going to try and see how many, how many doors I can fit my snake under. And then tomorrow we have a class meeting. And maybe that'll be one of the questions I ask you. How many doors did you fit your slithery snake under? I really hope you had fun making your snake and your patterns. Um, and boys and girls, I'm so excited to see you all tomorrow. And I'm so excited for you to see your friends. And we're going to have such a fun time. We're going to sing a couple songs. And we're going to talk and I want to hear what you've been doing at home and I want you to share with your friends what you've been doing. So boys and girls, I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Um, enjoy your snake. I hope it can slither under a lot of doors. All right, boys and girls, I miss you so much and I'll see you tomorrow.